Hello friends, today I am going to talk to you about continuous performance management. Well, what is continuous performance management? It is nothing but the same thing about the appraisal process, but what is different over here? Continuous performance management is actually a big cultural shift if it is looked into it. In normally appraisal process, what happens is that there are key results, there are certain competencies, there are certain like in behavioral traits, there are company values which are probably assessed at the end of the year. Whereas in the continuous performance management, you have a con you have a conversation, you have a review, you have a feedback. Now, how this is different from the traditional appraisal process is that continuous performance management is all about actually telling each other, the manager and the subordinate, or the manager and the employee, or the manager and the team, that we both are together to achieve the organization goals. It is not about whether we achieved the goals, whether we did it at the end of the year or not. That is, that is your appraisal process. Continuous performance management is saying that, look, I am there for you and you tell me what you need so that these goals are achieved. This is a big cultural shift because this brings about collaboration. And collaboration then, it's not only restricted between the manager and the, the team member for the same function, but also what kind of collaboration that can be brought across the functions as well. That is the, that is the thing about continuous performance management. And isn't this the need of the hour? Because every day when we all go to the, our organization to work, what we are required to perform, we cannot only individually perform, we need support of other people. And that's how the collaboration comes into picture and that's where the continuous performance management helps the individual, the organization to collectively work to achieve the organization goals. Now, how this can happen? Well, basically, the communication or the conversation regarding the performance and everything is always with the manager and his team. But HR does play a significant role. What role HR plays? HR plays in basically identifying what is the, like, you know, the correct process or the right process for the particular organization. HR can also play a very significant role in defining the process and orienting the people to the process. And third, very, very importantly, HR is also been able to be a sound board for the managers to be able to like after having all this conversation with their team members how the conversation went and how probably they could have like done something different or how what are the needs and how this particular needs can be like you know addressed and assessed and then it can be implemented that is where HR has a significant role to play. So HR role comes in the form of defining the process, orienting the process and also help the manager in implementing what is being agreed between he and his team members. So that's all as far as the continuous performance management is concerned. Cheers.